Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to do another retro video. Uh, guys, you saw me recently play a game called Shinobi, a classic arcade game. Well, today I'm going to play another Shinobi style game <laughs> from the uh, from the late 80s. It came out on the um, Sega Master System. This game is called Alex Kid in Shinobi World. Great game, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's just a little cutesy kind of game. But as you see the story show up on the screen here, it's basically just about you uh, save your girlfriend, you get these special powers, and you end up going to the Shinobi world, just like the game I just played. Uh, way cool. It's super awesome. So uh, everything I, I love about this game, I, uh, I love the graphics, I love the, uh, I love the gameplay itself for the most part, and just, it's just one of those cute little platformers that's a lot of fun to play. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. Let's have some fun with this this morning. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's a cool little game. Turn up a little bit. I'm gonna do my best today to play through it on one man, but it's gonna be kind of hard because uh, I'm filming, the camera is like right in my way. So we'll see what we can do. We'll let it play through this again, guys, in case you missed the story the first time. I'll go ahead and read it off to you soon. All right, so. The dark ninja, the evil one, whom I banished 2,000 years ago, has returned. With your girlfriend as hostage, he plans to seize the ultimate power. I have come here to help you defeat the dark ninja and to rescue your beloved. Oh, there you go. See, yeah, it gives you like <laughs> special abilities. Oh, it says 1990. I said late 80s. I'm sorry, 1990s when this game came out. And uh, so it gives you special abilities, and we're gonna fight literally in this shinobi world. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. As you may have seen real quick, you kind of flashed on the screen. That first level boss is literally the first level boss in the Shinobi game. So, a lot of comparisons here. Give me this guy. Almost the rest of the stage. Weapon upgrades and stuff in this game. Plays very similar to Shinobi. I love it. Cute little platform right here. The only thing I don't like about the controls is every once in a while, he won't jump like he's supposed to. Like you press jump, and every once in a while, he just won't do it. You, about 90% of the time, your jump will work, but there's that 10% where your jump is, you're kind of jumping a crucial spot in the game and it won't work, so a little irritating. Great again. Guys, I just started playing this game a couple days ago, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Like I said, I love these cheap kind of platformers. They're, they're just a lot of fun. The kind of game you can just get in, play for a few minutes, beat it, and then move on to something else about your day. So here's the first level boss. Again, it's like the boss from the first Shinobi game. Pretty easy. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to round two. If you'll notice in this picture on round two, it has a helicopter. So in the Shinobi game, the you know, video I did last week was Shinobi, I did a playthrough of Shinobi. Um, in that game, you had a helicopter as the boss, except guys jumped out of it. Well, this helicopter just shoots out little mini helicopters. This stage right here is also a resemblance of a stage in the Shinobi as well, where guys jump out of the water, and you have to kill them. Oops, ran right into it, didn't I? Tried to time it just right. This game is absolutely adorable, I love it. <laughs> Most time he hits me, he has such a hard time hitting that guy before he comes back and hits me off the ladder. All right, two, two. This one's underwater. Get these sharks first, so I get a power up. Ah, I missed him. All right. It's better just to kill them right there. I think you can bypass them and get over here, but it's just much easier to just go ahead and kill them. We got our little sword power up here. Let's get through a lot of level by doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> Do these wall jumps here. Stuff you could have done down the water, you got to this point right here, but we just skipped all of it by, by doing those little jumps. Get to the end of the level. All right, now we're at the helicopter part. So, like I said earlier, the helicopter in the actual game Shinobi throws out guys that you have to shoot at the front end of the helicopter. Well, this one you just gotta destroy these little mini helicopters. I met you. You can see at the top there how many you gotta kill. Two more right now. I like to catch him in a little pose at the very end. <laughs> so there you have it. No perfect bonus, unfortunately. That's okay. Now stage three. Uh, there's a guy named Lobster in the third stage or fourth stage of Shinobi. Well, <laughs> now we have a guy named Robster in uh in this game, so it's pretty crazy. Drop down here. I'm gonna go over here and get this extra man. And come back. So, also in Shinobi, you have these special abilities you can do. Well, you can also do them in, uh, in this game to give them to you.
Another little special ability to use. I use this one right here. Oops. So I guess this guy. There we go. Alright, so now we're in stage 3-2. I like this stage. There's a really cool little hidden feature in the very beginning of the stage. A little hidden area. I love it. So you just go right here, jump to this platform, and then jump back over here. It's like a little hidden area. You can just pass through most of the stuff right here. Which is actually a little bit difficult for a platformer, so that stuff you got passed through. Do a little extra health up here. Get down here. once. <laughs> so that's okay. Alright, right here is also a little secret. You just throw yourself through here. Got to skip a little bit of stuff down here as well. I hate these freaking roller coasters, these little, uh, these little vehicles here, but this one's not too bad. I'll just make sure I do three jumps. One, two, three, and I can jump over here. That's just kind of how I time it. Get a little extra weapon upgrade. So now we have the spears again. Got that lava. Extra man. Whenever your health is full, which you can see there, there on the left, when it's got six uh, spots already full, everything, every chest you open up after that will give you an extra man. So now this Robster guy is so much easier when you have the spears, because you can just stay away from him and throw the spears from a distance. Like that. Otherwise his Pringles will hit you, his Pringles chips will hit you if you're too close. Oops, that's a bad throw. One more should do it. There you have it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright guys. Fourth and final round. Uh, I've already got six men built up. The goal is, like I said, to beat it without having, without dying. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's not necessarily possible. It's not necessarily that I'll do it, but I mean, hey, we're gonna give it a shot. Too hard to get this little area. Just gotta be patient with everything. One to four, two, guys. Making our way through this game pretty quick, actually. Yeah, I used it there. <laughs> At least once. But the good news is there's plenty of health in this stage, so. Here's the first level loss again. Just kind of got to be patient with him. There's a miniature form. Robster again. Okay. There's also this little spot right here. So there's a shortcut. You can go right here, instead of blow off. 
So you can go right there or you can go around the other way. Like if you let those little things keep appearing, you can go around a lot longer way. That's kind of a little shortcut you can do. All right, last guy. He also happens to be the last guy in the game of Shinobi. <laughs> so, works out. Four times with him. This guy's not too bad. You can just kind of rush him before he throws his little shadows. So there you go. That's it. He, I'll tell you this right now. The boss, this this same guy is the boss, like I said, in the Shinobi game. The devil boss guy. He's much easier in this game than he is in the actual Shinobi. So there you have it, guys. Just a quick little playthrough with Alex Kidd in the Shinobi world. I love this game. Um... Uh, again, I, I know it's just kind of a silly little platformer, but this is the kind of stuff I like, guys. I grew up on a lot of these kind of games. So, great. Great gameplay. And then, you know what else you'd like to see, guys? I'm on a Ma Sega Master System kick right, kick right now, but I'm not above doing Nintendo games as well. So let me know if there's any retro-style games you'd like me to, you know, try to play through. It, it won't be anything like RPGs. It'll most likely be like these platformer-style games. Um, but yeah, let me know. I've got a couple other games in the works for the Sega Master System already. But this one, um, this one I wanted to do right now just because it was it was fun because I just did a Shinobi video, so I figured why not do the uh, the cute version of Shinobi, Alex Kid in Shinobi World. Thought that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, in the comments, guys, if you think of any other games that I might enjoy or anything you'd like to see me do a playthrough on, let me know. I'll I'll definitely give it a shot. Again, it won't be anything like RPGs or anything like that because those will just take too long. Uh, maybe in the future, but try to do stuff I can do in one video currently. <laughs> so. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.